Hi everybody, my name is Kathleen Hogan. I'm the Director of Knowledge Integration at McCarthy Tetro. And what I wanted to chat with you about today is how important it is and what a great um, professional development tool writing for one of ILTA's publications is. And I really recommend everyone consider this and, and try doing it. Um, first of all, uh, the ILTA team, the publications team is fantastic. They're there to help you uh, and uh, push and prod you along and then do some light editing of your work. So you've really got a lot of support from the team to help you get to the finish line. Um, I've personally found writing uh, for ILTA um, to be a really good exercise for me personally and professionally. So, you know, the most obvious is that once you've published something, you're starting to get a bit of a reputation for being a uh, subject matter expert in that particular area. People will read your material, they will go back to it, they'll use it as um, resources and reference, um, and you'll start to find that, you know, if you continue along, um, and uh, continue to publish, you know, it becomes a virtuous circle. You'll be asked to speak on panels. You'll be asked to present at Ilticon. Uh, and so that's just a really great thing for everyone's resume and for everyone's uh, professional development. And I can attest that, that that has been the case for me. Secondly, um, going back over your past projects or your thinking through an issue, um, these are great opportunities. Uh, for you to write about for ILTA. For example, if you're just doing a case study of a project that you've just finished, it's a really good opportunity for you to look at that project in a different light. So maybe you've you know, finished it up and you've done your post-mortem, but when you are writing for a different audience, an audience of peers, you will look at that project in a slightly different way and rethink what went well, um, what didn't go so well, what you would change next time. And that's really useful both for yourself and for the people who are going to be reading your article. And so it's it's a great way to think through what you are working on, what you have worked on, what you might wanna work on in the future uh, with just a slightly different um, lens on that work. The last thing I'll say is uh, some people wonder, you know, why, why should I do this? Am I not giving away the secret sauce of my firm if I'm, if I'm writing for, you know, um, a really wide audience? And my answer to that is an emphatic no. Um, you know, even if I were to take uh, every uh, piece of material I have from a past project, right? The project plan, the budget, the meeting agendas, the notes, the training materials, the videos, and I ship them over to you verbatim. I would say that would give you a great start, but it would not make you competitive with my particular project. And that's because you'd have to still do a lot of work to hone those materials to make it applicable to your project, to your firm, your firm's culture. Uh, and goals and you know writing um, a paper is even far removed from that it's an opportunity to talk about again what went well what didn't go well but you could never take I think from an Ulta article an entire project and reproduce it so you're not sharing any secret sauce what you are sharing uh, are tips tricks best practices and that is what Ilta is all about our community is about sharing uh, about collaborating, about supporting each other when we can. And I would just continue to encourage you to think about doing some writing, um, accomplishing those goals, and supporting the rest of the ELTA community in doing so.